I'm so excited today because I'm going to look at with you Christina Hendricks' nighttime skincare routine for dry skin that she did recently for Harper's Bazaar series Go To Bed With Me. So I'm going to have a look at this with you. This is one of my skincare reaction videos. I hope you enjoy it. I want to see if Christina, who is amazing looking, beautiful woman, she's going to be 46 next month and she doesn't look it and let's see if she's using what I think is the best thing for her for her age and for her dry skin so welcome to my channel Joni loves my name is Joni please before we go and hit that subscribe button and that bell that would be so cool I'm going to miss out the bit in this video that she's talking about her hair what she's on her hair because it's all about the skin for Joni <laughs> and I want to see what she's using for her skin so let's get started absolutely possible so I do my nightly bath which helps me sort of unwind and relax anyway and before I get out and start my skin regimen I have been using da -da -da -da, the light mask I'm gonna see if I can turn it on you can see the lights so this is for wrinkles acne inflammation Put this on for three minutes. Does it work? I hope so. But more than anything, it's sort of warming and calming. And although three minutes doesn't seem like a really long time, when you just give yourself three minutes to not do anything, not look at your phone, not look at the time, it just is this, it just makes you sit still. And I feel like it's just a really nice way for me to unwind and get ready to go to sleep. So let's talk about Dr. Dennis Gross Spectralite. It's 435 bucks. Does it work? I think if you use it consistently, and that's the secret, it will work. So I do absolutely know that light therapy does work. She mentioned a few things it does. She would really, really love the red light bit of it because that penetrates and stimulates the dermis where the collagen lies and hydrates the skin. So I do think they're really good. Also reduces inflammation, she's quite right there. I think that with a home device like this, it's not got the same energy output as your facialist. So I'm just gonna put you in that direction. If you really want to have an amazing salon treatment, this is the one to go for. Apparently all the celebs go for this before the red carpet does, whenever they're allowed to do them again. But the red light definitely penetrates the skin and it helps collagen and does a few things. It is rejuvenating, but you would have to use it at home regularly. Three minutes, you would need to do it pretty much every day, I think. If you could do that, that would be cool. Consistency is everything in skincare. And I'm just absolutely sure that I'm getting younger with it as well. <laughs> so I wear a lot of uh, eye makeup each day uh, for work and I tend to have dry skin and I find that a lot of products can be a little bit abrasive um, and just even from rubbing day after day that I find my, my skin can get, can get red or splotchy. So I've been using this Elemis it says white flowers eye and lip makeup remover and it does take off your lip and eye but it's one of the few things that i feel like takes it off in one full swoop instead of rubbing and rubbing and rubbing i started the eyebrow and just really see how much it comes off at once and that was a cat eye girl that was a cat eye and just really brush down on the lashes and then i always make sure i brush up so a lot of that hides underneath your eye. And I don't have to press very hard either because it's like an oil base. I think that's why it, it is um, so soothing on my dry skin and doesn't seem to dry me out. So, so let's have a wee chat about Elemis Eye and Lip Makeup Remover. It's 34 bucks, um, $34. And I'm looking at it, it's got glycerine number eight ingredient, which is a woohoo from me. And number 12 is vitamin B5, panthenol, another humectant, great. Um, do I think it's okay? I do think it's okay. It's got emollients in it, humectants at the top. Um, I think it's fine. I don't think there's anything in here that I would really say no. It's also got sodium hyaluronic hyaluronic acid so that is really good so there's a couple of things in here that i do like and 
only thing I was going to point out was I thought she was quite gentle enough with her eyes. But if you do this to yourself and you're taking your eye makeup off, you know, put the iPad, you know, put the, the makeup remover on the iPad and hold the pad against the eye and hold it there for, you know, if you can go for 20 seconds, that's good to let it dissolve most of the makeup and then take it away. I would think that's a better way to do it. So one pad per eye. Um, she was gentle. It's all about not rubbing the eyes. You have to look after your eyes. So, um, but let some of the makeup dissolve easily first before you start wiping. And I do prefer if you go over the eye and under like that. Mm -hmm. I do like that. So here we go. One thing that um, I don't know if I learned it through years of modeling or, or acting or just from getting facials throughout the years, but I don't necessarily do the same thing every evening. I really sort of try to look at my skin and read it that day. Sometimes it's a little bit more dry. Sometimes it feels a little bit oily. Sometimes I've got a pimple. Sometimes I've got a patch of dry skin. I have all those things today. I'm gonna show you Elemis again because this is, um, I never even knew this existed. It is a cleansing balm and it's rose again. I just love rose. I think I'm even surrounded by rose colors. Um, so it has a beautiful smell, but um, you scoop it out and it's got a real creamy gel, lovely feeling to it. So I just do a little scoop and just put it all over and kind of let it sit there and kind of dissolve all this makeup on my skin for a little bit. And that's when I get my hot water going. Ooh, <laughs> no, stop, stop, stop. Um, first of all, um, let, let's just talk about quickly how she applied that. I didn't like how she applied that. I thought it was okay till we got to eyes and she actually went over her eyes with this. I don't like that. I have tried this cleansing balm. I used to sell it in my beauty salon and I, I do like it. I'm going to say that first of all, I really like it. It's $64 for three and a half ounces. I do think you should try it. I did like it, but don't put it over the eye area. You know, don't do that. I, I wouldn't I wouldn't do that. No, I wouldn't do that. It's got, you know, lots of moisturizing sweet almond oil. It's got triglyceride moisturizing and replenishing things in it. It's got really good moisturizers in it and it's got elderberry seed oil, which is improving the skin barrier function. I like that. And almond um, moisturizing. The only thing as well, I don't. The only thing I don't like about it, and Elemis, I'm not keen about this, um, is it's got perfume in it. I don't like that. That's number nine ingredient, and um, it's got silica number ten. I do think it's. I have tried it, and when you go further down in the list, you'll see there is lots of antioxidants and seed oils. The jojoba seed oil, which is great, and it obviously smells of rose. It's got this rose damascena. Um, which is, I think, one of her favourites. She likes the smell of rose. This does smell nice and it is worth a try. I'm going to say that it is. Um, I don't want you to use it over the eye area and use it use it gently, but it really does work. It is lovely. Worth it. If you like Elemis and you haven't tried it, I would, I would give that a thumbs up and try it. So um, sometimes I'm absolutely exhausted after a long work day. Um, and I'm tempted. Before I go on, I went to say to you also about, she said hot water. She's taking it off, which I like as well. She's taking it off with a face flannel, but she said hot water. Don't use hot water on your skin. Please don't use hot water. That is going to strip your skin of your own natural oils. That surprised me that someone's not mentioned this to her because she says she's got dry skin. Do not use hot water. Always look warm water when you're taking anything off your skin. Okay, and I do look, I think she's, her skin looks really, it does look plump. I think there's a little bit dehydration on, on her forehead. And um, so I can see that she is prone to dryness. Um, but <laughs> let's see if anything else. So no hot water. To not wash my face. Um, and sometimes I give myself a little treat and I'll grab what I think are great are the Burt's Bees makeup wipes that I just get at Walgreens or whatever um, drugstore. Cause I think they do a really good job. And honestly, 
Sometimes I think it's okay to have a little something on my skin because I am so dry that rubbing it over and over and over isn't always the best. So every once in a while, I just allow myself to use a wipe and they do a really nice job, but. Oh, no, 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 please, Christina, don't use wipes. I've tried to show you what I mean by wipes. Say this is a, a, a packet of wipes, right? And take the wipe out and then we close the lid on it. Sometimes the lids don't close and air gets in it and it oxidizes. The wipes, that's what's going on here. They can get oxidized very easily. Now, manufacturers know this, so they put a lot of different chemicals in it as preservatives because they've got to keep the, the wipe at the bottom as fresh as the one at the top. And that's not great for your skin and wipes don't work. They just, are putting a wipe over your face is just smearing your makeup over your face. They do not clean skin properly. They don't, please don't use them. I have treated clients who have got sensitized skin just from using wipes. Please don't use them. For the most days, I like to really get it off because I have to start this process all again tomorrow, layer more makeup and lots and lots of wiping and adding and applying and all these things. If I'm feeling like maybe my face is a little bit drier um, and I feel just like you want a little bit of an exfoliant, I really love this fresh strawberry it's a face wash and it has a consistency like the gel, but it's also got little granules in it. So it smells delicious. I love fresh. I just think that everything smells like it could be from your garden and it's just always yummy. I want to eat it at the same time. So that's another option that I also use for a little bit more of a exfoliator. I like Quite quickly, we'll talk about the, she wasn't using it there. Thankfully, she only used the one cleansing balm, the Elemis one. Now she's talking about fresh. Um, strawberry exfoliating face wash. I don't like this one. Uh, it's 27 quid for 125 mil. I think it's, I've looked at the the ingredients. It's for me a below average formulation. Um, number one ingredient is really great. Glycerine, fantastic. But then it's got sugar in it. Sugar as a scrub exfoliating is not good. It will sensitize and irritate a lot of skins. You know, you're, you're looking for um, things that will dissolve easily right but things that will polish the skin off and um, like jojoba seed oil jojoba seed something like that that isn't going to irritate sugar and um, crystals in a product not they will definitely rough they're too rough and they will annoy the skin barrier um what else is in here we have got an astringent black currant fruit fruit extract which is quite astringent to skin um it's also got obviously perfume in it. I'm against perfume. If you've got a sensitive skin or dry skin, you really don't want to be using anything that's making it more dry. And that's the thing for me. So there's perfume in this at number 12 ingredient. And then at the bottom, there's sort of, you know, essential oils that are not great. And really, I don't like this one. Fresh sugar, I would give that the thumbs down. And I would say, I don't want you to use that one, Christine. <laughs> so um, I've got to tell you that um, if you Feel, you don't feel sometimes when you've got something that's irritate, irritating on your skin. You may use a product and it might feel okay, right? And you keep using it because you think it's quite nice, but you haven't really researched ingredients on it. But it sometimes won't show up right away where it's irritated your skin. That can show later on or, you know, it won't become apparent for a long time. So don't get lulled into thinking, um, oh, this must be okay, even although it's got sugar in it, it must be okay or something like that because it doesn't irritate you at the time. It can come up later on and bite you in the bum, right? I like to do often this Mario Badesco. This is facial spray with aloe, herbs, and rose water. More of my rose. And honestly, I keep this when I'm outside, when it's hot. I go on holidays with this. I'm constantly leaning over to my friends and saying, close your eyes, it feels so good. And I spray everyone with this. So this is just like a go-to, wonderful, refreshing thing to have. It's really, really nice when you get off a plane. It just makes you feel clean and fresh. And then- Right, Mario de Badesco facial spray with aloe, cucumber and green tea, eight pound old fashioned formula, a waste of money. <laughs> Yes, a waste of money. Um, I don't want to go into it big time, but there's fragrance in it. It really is old fashioned. Mario Badesco has been out for 
a hundred years, <laughs> maybe not as long as that, but it certainly is old fashioned formulas. I would not tell you to wait to spend your money on this. That is, if you really like sprays, there's a lot more modern sprays out there that you can have a look at that are better than this. So there's also obviously perfume in it again, and there is um, bad products at the bottom you know, that are a little bit volatile for sensitive skin. So I don't like that. No, I don't. <laughs> Say what you think, Joni. And I like to use, this is a, it calls itself a Rose Deep Hydration Oil Infused Serum. I have never found another product like this before. It is serum, but I shake it up. And it also has a little bit, can you see that? of an oil. So I've used other serums and I love them too. I love a serum in general. But what I love about this is I put it on every morning before I go to Good Girls and my makeup artist says that the makeup lays really, really well on top of it. And it just gives a lit, it's, it's not a thick moisturizer. So that way when she gets going on my face. She also adds another moisturizer. She'll use an Embryolisse and put it under my makeup, but I could go to bed without anything else on top of that because it does give like a nice sort of plump feeling to your skin. But because I am very dry, this is when I would choose to either use a moisturizer or an oil. And quite quickly now, Fresh Rose Deep Hydration Oil Infused Serum, 52 pounds for 100 ml. I'm going to let you make up your mind about this yourself. This Rose Damascena Flower Oil is a very fragrant rose, that, so it will smell really nice and, you know, it's thought to be relaxing, so, so she will enjoy the, you know, the scent of this 100%, the smell of it will, will be relaxing to her. But this oil can sometimes cause aggravation in skin um, for people who have got sensitive skin, so I'm just going to let you think um, look at that yourself and see what you think. Fresh Rose Deep Hydration Oil Infused Serum um, has got a couple of good oils in it um, and it's got glycerine in it and it's got squalene in it which is wonderful for your skin, hydrating and moisturising um, but there's it's quite a lot of this Rosa de Mascena, um flower extract oil which I'm not 100% keen on. I think it's too, got too much in it so I'll let you have a think about that yourself. I think it's funny how she's using that as a moisturiser. She would quite leave that on its own. And again, I'm looking, is there anything in here that's really, that she's used, it's anti-aging um, and really looking after her, her skin now. Or an oil. And um, while I'm working, I do like to use an oil in the evening. And I love this. Julie Hewitt Camellia Oil. Little squeeze. And put it all everywhere, all the way down my neck. Retta also uses the Julie Hewitt Camellia Oil. Julie Hewitt is our makeup artist on Good Girls, um, but she's also a genius makeup artist with her own line, and she's worked with everyone under the planet. She's done everyone's makeup, so she really knows what she's talking about. I didn't even know Retta used it as well, but apparently she does, so it's a little good girl's trick. Now, Julie Hue Organic Camellia Oil, $36 for one ounce. Yes, Camellia Oil is antioxidant. It is definitely one of these proper, <laughs> am I gonna say this, polyphenols, oils that when you put it onto your skin, it protects your skin against the environment. So this is anti-aging. At last, we've got something now that is anti-aging and she's put it on now. And I think this is 100% organic camellia oil that's used. So it sounds good to me. I'm gonna give this one a thumbs up. Yes, I think this is good. I don't know if this is because I stole this from my brother when he was a teenager and he was getting acne for the first time or where I found it, but this is saves the day. I get it at any drugstore or I order it online. And the reason it works so well is it's benzoyl peroxide gel. And I've been using it since I was a kid. And I'm gonna put it on my spot. Cause no picking at your spots. No picking at your spots. It's only gonna make it worse. 
So this is one I use when I feel like it's under the skin. Although, I really do love this. Zaps Acne Treatment Gel Benzoyl Peroxide will definitely work. I did not see that spot that she had. <laughs> I didn't. Um, but it's interesting to me that she's got a spot on her skin because her skin type really isn't prone to having breakouts. I'm just going to say that it's not. Um, her skin's definitely quite white. So I definitely think she absolutely must use sunscreen, which is fabulous. Um, she uses that must must use that during the daytime, but she really isn't the skin type that really gets breakouts. And breakouts, why is she getting them at age forty six? Um, maybe still time of the month for her, or under stress, or oil, you know, there's oil getting produced in her skin, the chin area, and usually it is in the T zone where you get things. But really, about this area here is where you will break out because. You know the skin likes to adhere dead skin cells likes to adhere to an oily skin surface and that's definitely blocked her skin up there and she's got a spot but it could be i'm just saying this if she's using those wipes they won't be cleansing well she's used yes she's used um the pro collagen elemis pro collagen rose cleansing balm and she's used that as a cleanser i'm just thinking that she's not using a really really great AHA type cleanser for her skin and that would definitely what I would be putting in there to stop her getting blockages or stop her getting prevent her getting spots so but Zaps acne treatment gel benzoyl peroxide definitely will kill that bacteria and get rid of that zit it will I do love those little acne stickers as well um which I'm out of because I use them so often um, but any of those little acne stickers that you just peel off and put on, I think they work really quite well. But I use this on... Has anybody tried those acne stickers? I haven't tried them. No, I haven't. No, I think they're quite interesting. She really likes them. If anyone's tried those acne stickers, let me know in the comments below. Please. My skin if I feel like there's something underneath the skin. And then if I feel like there's something a little bit more on the surface, I love to use a Q-tip and you dip it into this Mario Badesco drying lotion. Kind of looks like calam calamine lotion when it's on your face. And then I like to do things. For so a couple of things. First of all, Christina said 100% do not pick your spots. No, don't do that. Remember, if you pick your spots outside of the layer of your skin's epidermis, you can pick the skin into the dermis and absolutely cause a little scar. And that's what happens when you do it too deeply. So don't pick your spots. I've seen a lot of damage to skin from people picking their spots. So I thought that was great she mentioned that. Now she's talking about Mario Badesco drying lotion. It's old fashioned again, but it will work this formula. I've looked at this and it does look like Calamine. I've tried it actually, because I was interested to see that this formula still existed. Um, but it's got sulfur, zinc oxide. Zinc oxide does heal spots. Sulfur will dry out and camphor will cool it down. Um, and it's got salicylic in it, salicylic acid, which is going to clean out the pore. So this is an old fashioned formula, Mario de Badesco, if you're hearing me, Mario. <laughs> but it will have some benefit. It will. It's a sort of gentler way to try to, to heal a spot. So worth a thought, worth a thought. Sort of maybe once a week or every other week to sort of back up the stuff that I do on a nightly basis. One of my favorite things is this Olga Lawrenson Ageless Facial Mask. You put the, the first one on and you just let it sink into your skin and then you follow up with the second one. You don't have to wash it off. Leave it overnight and I promise you, my skin is like radiant afterwards. I just feel like it's a much heavier cream so I don't use it every night. Um, but it's just absolutely be beautiful and um, it's sort of like a little special treat that I do a couple times a month. One other thing I like to do is these. We'll just touch on those. Olga Lawrence and Skincare Ageless Facial in a Box. What a great name. Ageless Facial in a Box. If only it was as easy as that. It's $98 for this and you get the two. She showed you the two jars. The first one is a brightening cream peel. Um, this first one, the first one that you use in this step, step one, has got succinic acid. 
um, succinic, succinic acid. Is that how you pronounce that? Anyway, this is like the new acid in the town. You know, you've heard me keep talking about glycolic acid and salicylic on my channel here. And I do love those two ingredients. I do. But this is um, succinic succinic acid <laughs> and this is really 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 good i like the idea of this it's perfect for people with spots it's a gentle exfoliator that helps dead skin cells take gets them out the pores while preventing them from clogging again so i think this is worth a try i do like this and it's also got well that that's the acid that i quite like the idea of um using this using this first and it's got glycerine in it and really it sounds really good but the next bit is this the hydrating sleep mask so use the the brightening cream peel okay use that first and then you put the sleep mask on and top and the sleep mask really has got in it quite a few ingredients that are really antioxidant worth really you know bark extract is always good for that wild cherry and um, it's really rich in antioxidants this plum seed extract as well so plum seed extract is a fantastic emollient and a regenerator for damaged skin so this mask is definitely going to rejuvenate her skin and I, I, I think this is really quite interesting this I would like to try this I do I think this is worth a try this um, ageless facial in a box to see how it goes so it's these little um, the ceramide cap capsules from Elizabeth Arden and I break them open. I usually use my teeth. And then I just do a little rubbing up. It says to rub up, why not? Why bring it down? And um, it's got this really silky, nice texture to it. And I let that sink in. Bring it all the way down. And then I go to bed. Thank you so much for. Well, that was really a good ending, I felt, because I was starting to worry about a few things there. Um, because she obviously has been getting facials. She looks great. She does look fab. She doesn't look her age. And Elizabeth Arden Ceramide Capsules Daily Youth Restoring Serum. Um, these are these capsules are $83, not cruelty free just going there but fragrance free and preservative free i like these capsules i'm going to say this i do there's a lot of emollients in it so it'll be really nourishing to the skin there's this camellia japonica seed oil which is the antioxidant that we talked about before polyphenol anti-aging that's in these capsules but there's also a lot of ceramides in here and ceramides absolutely will keep your skin fed with and keep this protective barrier intact there's also retinal palmitate in this or so a bit of vitamin a i think these are really quite good i really do like these capsules and vitamin e squalene and vitamin e as well so i would think this is good and it's good for dry skin and effective ingredients that will restore a healthy barrier function definitely um so those ceramides i'm talking about were like skin replenishing fatty acids and vitamin A and vitamin E. No, I think this is good. It's interesting to me, um, Elizabeth Arden's been out for yonks, hasn't it? Um, I do like these capsules. I don't like a lot of Elizabeth Arden products. I'm going to say that to be honest with you, but I think these, if you're not bothered about not cruelty free thing, I would have a try at them. They really, I think they would definitely work. Interesting enough for me, Elizabeth Arden was a nurse. <laughs> just thought I would say that she originally trained as a nurse so I think that's that's always find that interesting how people where they come from and what they end up doing so the, what do I think there's retinol in this I was going to say that she definitely needs to have a retinol product going to bed and she has the last bit was I've got a little bit of retinol do I think that's enough for her not really I think that she would be better having another something with retinol in it I do that would be a bit stronger than that I do think this is good but maybe the next night I would be putting on a stronger retinol onto her skin um just for the aging thing and vitamin A what it can do to re you know it renews the skin 
cells to make the skin much younger looking and fresher. Retinol is the gold standard in ageing, but this has got lipids in it, which also is another thing that causes, if you've got a lack of lipids, it definitely will cause ageing. So I thought that was an interesting routine from Christina. Um, I did like the, the ageless face in a bottle, facial in a bottle, facial in a box, I mean. I did like that and I liked the last. So the last two things I think were good. Um, and I quite like, I do like the Pro Collagen um, cleansing balm that Elemis has got. The in-between stuff wasn't impressed. So I hope that was good for you. And it's interesting to see what you think about Christina's skincare routine. Was there anything else that you think was missing from that? Um, she is a beautiful woman and it's all about people doing these sort of videos to maybe educate and that's why I like to do a reaction to them. Hopefully I'm educating you a bit and giving you some tips of how to think about things. So that's it. Hope all is all well with you. Please take care of yourselves and thank you so much for listening to the end. Thank you. Bye.